Hey guys, it's Ben here from the Strength Factory and welcome to the latest edition of Factory Knowledge. What you just saw me doing there was a horizontal row using a suspension trainer. And you saw my body is completely rigid and I rode up through a full range of motion. And this is one of the fundamental movements I use with my training for pretty much everybody because it's so important for your posture. But the message I want to talk to you about today is this idea of regressing exercises and progressing exercises. So there, that's, you know, it's quite a hard exercise to get right, okay, to be strong enough to do it correctly. And so not everybody can do strict horizontal rows with the straps vertical and with your body strict like this. So I want to talk to you today about how we regress exercises, okay, so you can then do them with perfect form to get stronger, to then build up, to move through the steps okay until you get there and then once you get there we can then progress the exercise to make it harder as well the aim should always be to do the exercise with perfect form okay that way you're making progress in your strength and you're working safely to develop that strength and that athleticism to then transfer it to your sport so we're going to work through the regressions here for the row uh, but the same principles apply to any exercise from squats to press ups and so on. The same principles apply. So, where would we start off? We're gonna start off up here. So, obviously, the more upright I am, the easier the exercise is. Okay, so we've regressed it back to the easiest variation to get it perfect. So what I'm trying to do here, when I'm coaching somebody, is I'll make sure their body position is tight, they've got their bum and their core squeezed to keep them tight, and that we're working with perfect posture. You'll see a lot of people, their shoulders will creep up, or they'll allow themselves to get rounded here, when actually, the position is here. I wanna draw the shoulders back in into the sockets and do a very strict rowing motion. Once we've got that dialed, so you can do three sets of 12 or something like that, then we can obviously decrease the lean angle and go further down, okay? So now, so I've gone further down. There's still an angle on the straps, but now I've got a right angle in my knees and I've got a bit more weight on my arms to move, so the exercise is harder. So I've made a progression from that first uh, step that we did there. All the same things apply. I squeeze my bum to keep the hips high, keep the shoulders located. Can I do three sets of 12 with perfect strict form? Yes, I can. So then you move on in the next session, in the next block of training, onto the next harder one. Subtle difference there, same body position, except now the straps and my arms run vertically. So the body position's the same, but we've just got more weight on my hands, okay? Um, and again, same applies. Hips high, braced, smooth. And at this point here, this is where it becomes important to work through a full range. You'll see a lot of people, and they're only rowing to here. Well, for me, that isn't a complete rep. You need to be rowing to here. So we're opening up the chest, we're getting that full range of motion and really developing the postural muscles of the upper back. Once we've got that, that's when we then go on to what I would call a full horizontal row on the straps, which is what I showed you at the start. Okay, I'm on my heels and my body is completely flat while I do it. Now, what you've done there is you've worked through about four progressions, roughly, working your way through until you can do those really strict, controlled rows with your entire body weight. Now, we've gone through the regressions, we've hit the horizontal row, now it's time to move on to some progressions. We're gonna make that exercise harder, but only once you've mastered this. So, the first thing we can do is we can lift the feet up. OK, 
Okay, so pretty straightforward. That's one option for progressing the horizontal row exercise. Another option would be to keep the feet on the floor and we're gonna pull with alternate arms. So they pull to one side and to the other side. Okay, and so on. Now, the great thing is that the progressions are actually pretty limitless, you know? We can put your feet on an unstable surface like a Swiss ball. I can go single leg. I can change the strap so one's higher than the other. I can move them wider, narrower, lift the feet higher. There are many different things that we can do to progress the exercise, but today is more about the principle that we take an exercise, a press up, or a squat, or in this case, a horizontal row, and we've got that exercise, and that's what you're aiming to get to do. And if you can't do it just right, you regress it. You do easier options with perfect form, rather than what you see people doing here at the gym all the time, which is trying to cheat their way through it by hucking their weight up or throwing the hips up and things like that. You've got to dial in perfect form with the regressions. You move through that sequence until you get that exercise dialed, when you've got that, you can then move on to the progressions to become stronger, more athletic, and a better athlete, okay? And that's the same outside of the gym as well. You know, if you think about your skills on the bike, uh, you don't go and send like a massive jump until you've done a smaller jump and things like that. So, remember, if you like what I'm talking about and want to hear more, then hit subscribe, hit like, share it with your buddies, and I'll see you next week.